All right, let's get this video started. So today I figured, or I thought, I would share with you guys how I remove all this. You guys usually see me all glammed up and all dolled up with lashes and the whole nine yards. So today I wanted to show you guys the steps that I take to just actually remove my makeup. It's not really like a skincare routine. It's just literally how I remove my makeup. I just think it's so interesting, you know, seeing it in a different side versus seeing it from glam to not so glam. So I'm just gonna take you step by step on the products that I like to use personally to just get rid of all this cakiness on my face. So let's jump right into it. The number one products that I live, die, breathe, anything you wanna call it, is coconut oil. This is our, our again, organic coconut oil, and as you can see, or as you can see, I've used a ton of it. Hopefully, you can see that. I use this for hair masks and also to remove my makeup because it just gets the job done. So, of course, I'm first going to take off the lashes. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. Ooh, I feel 10 pounds lighter. And then I'm just going to scoop out the coconut oil. I actually don't like to heat it up like in the microwave because I feel like it kind of gets rid of some of the nutrients, if you want to call it. I just warm it up in between my fingers. Obviously make sure that your hands are clean once it's nice and melted. I just start by one side and I start taking everything off. This will take everything, waterproof everything. Bring it down to my neck because I also put powder down here. I wait, I'm just gonna grab some baby wipes. These are the Aquit baby wipes. I'm just gonna start removing my makeup, doing circular motions. So as you can see, that removed pretty much most of my makeup. I am breaking out so bad. I don't know what's causing my skin to freak out. And yes, my lips are bruised. Oh my god, they look horrible. I tried this product, like the ones, the lip plumpers, and I did it wrong. I did not read instructions, and I did it wrong, so my lips look disgusting, so do not mind that. So let me show you guys what I'm currently using. You guys know that I love the Vanity Planet Spin for Perfect Skin. I've been using this for about a year now. I actually just got a new one because when I went to Mexico, I left my purple one in Vegas on our way back to Utah. So yeah, I got a new one because I needed one. But I had seen this one floating around Instagram and I was really intrigued by it. This one is the Vanity Planet Ultimate Spa Skin System and it actually comes with three heads. The one that I'm currently using is the one that is for exfoliating your skin a little bit deeper. So it's the one that has the little black in the center. And then it comes with a second one which is gray in the center. This is an everyday exfoliating brush head. So this is the one that I like to use in the morning. And then when I really want to exfoliate my skin, I use this one. This one is actually a little silicone brush which deeply exfoliates your skin and it doesn't hold in any germs. For my face cleanser, this is the one that I've been using for almost a year now and I'm almost running out of it. It's the Paula's Choice Resist Perfectly Balanced Foaming Cleanser. This is for normal, oily, and combination skin. So I've been using this for a while and I really like it. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to wet this. Oh, I hope I don't make a mess. This actually has two settings. So that's to go slow and then setting number two is to go fast. But I'm just gonna do one. Now 
Now, even though my skin feels super squeaky clean every time that I use my, my spin brush, I also just like to go in with the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I love this stuff. This is my second bottle. Um, this just makes sure that I remove everything that I didn't miss a spot. To make sure that I go within my ears and everything like that. It's very lightweight on the skin. It doesn't burn the eyes. It doesn't irritate my skin. So if you're sensitive, this is perfect for you. And then the last step that I'm gonna take is take my vitamin C serum and this is from Skin Diva. Skin Diva, Diva, and my retinal moisturizer. This just makes sure that my skin stays hydrated all night. And please, you know this bruise that is so disgusting. I am so mad that I didn't pay attention. That's what happens. Okay guys, and that is it. Those are all the steps that I like to take to really remove every oil, piece of dirt, piece of makeup, everything that I have on my skin. If you guys are interested in any of the Vanity Planet um, face brushes, I highly recommend them. This video is not sponsored, I promise. I just honestly love their products. I was lucky enough to get a coupon code for you guys. It is not an affiliate code either. So I will have a link down below and it'll give you a discount on both brushes. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, leave me a comment down below and let me know what steps you you like to take to remove your makeup thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave i love you guys and i'll see you soon bye